What's up everyone? So I've decided to take on the project of hosting a dedicated server for Plex. Currently my setup is just Plex Media Server running on my gaming rig using an external 5TB hard drive which is definitely not ideal. Uh, especially if I'm wanting to uh, well, use something more long term. Um, however I have been using this type of setup for about 7 years. Uh, move from a multi-drive system down to just one as I can't really stand uh, the sound of hard drives inside my specifically designed computer that's meant to be as silent as possible. So I'm making the move to hosting Plex and other self-hosted cloud solutions uh, onto a separate dedicated system. I'm not 100% familiar with uh, every piece of software out there or best practices but I'm looking to walk before I run. Uh, so I'm going into uh, the research, uh, research stage of that now with the hardware, software, how I want everything set up, how I want to be able to interact with it, uh, and so on. I don't currently have a way of ripping 4K content to my uh, computer or Plex server, only Blu-ray. Uh, however, there is Make MKV, which is a program that I use to rip this content. There is a forum where they have a list of drives that you can either buy or uh, flash yourself with different firmware in order to read the 4K content, which is here. I'll link it down in the description for you to find. Um, but that will be coming tomorrow, so I'll find out if that works tomorrow. Now onto the server side, I know that TrueNAS and Unraid are quite popular in terms of uh, operating systems to be used with Plex and other storage hosting uh, services, but again I am uh, looking to uh, walk before I run and I really just want ease of access more than anything else. Uh, so I will be using uh, a modified version of Windows 10, which is called Tiny10, which has been uh, popping up around and about the internet for a bit, which is just a highly stripped down version of Windows 10 because I do have a key for Windows 10, so I can use that. It will still have a bunch of functionality and support, unlike the server equivalent of Windows. Uh, but my main hurdle was finding out how I want to set up my RAID inside of that. There is storage spaces, which I am going to use after looking into it, but it took me a while to finally decide on that because I do prefer hard the idea of hardware RAID, even though I couldn't find any actual expansion cards that met my budget or any that looked like they would be around in the future in the uh, case that they would, uh, well, break. Now the hardware, so I went through a few revisions going from AMD to Intel and looking at all that because even though I'm wanting to gear the Plex server to being directly in-house use, not outside of network use and all my other applications being out of network, I wanted to avoid doing 4K transcoding as much as possible. Uh, so originally I was going for the AMD 3200G because obviously hardware coding, but on uh, looking through enough forums show me that apparently Intel APUs with quick sync and hardware tense coding when I obviously come to buying the Plex Pass would be more beneficial for me for the use case of just in case if I needed to transcode 4K and wanted to uh, keep, uh, well, be able to transcode it because I would only be ever using one stream of 4K and it would be internal locally. The case that I was going for was the Antec P101 case. Uh, it apparently hosts 11 drives, but all I could see was 8. Uh, but I wanted something more future-proof as I'm wanting to set up one, dedicate one of my rooms in my house uh, in the future to purely entertainment. Like, so I have my computer in there on one side, screen on the other, and have a server caddy somewhere else that would be storing my well the plex server that i am building now my routers any of ethernet that I might be running around the house other devices like security cameras alarms locks 
uh, and so on and so forth, stuff like that in an actual server caddy. So I wanted something a bit more future proof. So I went with the Code Gen 4 UV2 600mm rack mount server case uh, in black, of course, because stay classy. It was more or less the same price, give or take £5. Uh, and with a minor modification to the uh, 5.25 uh, inch three bay disc drives, I can add another four slots at the front of the case, which will allow 12 in an array, all in the same um, location. So it's got the uh, i5 10600 uh, processor, the, it's not on here, but the Noctua NHD. 9L uh, cooler, uh, it's a little lower profile but still high airflow. Uh, the motherboard has actually changed. I'm going for an Asus ROG uh, B460H motherboard just with uh, it having more expansion slots, so I've got more room to uh, expand in the future. Uh, the Kingston Fury B16 gigs of RAM, DDR4, 3200 megahertz memory. Um, and then I'll be adding hard drives and a boot drive separately, boot drive being SSD, also to store the metadata on, uh, as well as multiple 8 terabyte hard drives, which I'll be starting with three. Uh, cases changed, Seasonic Focus GX 550 watt power supply, fully modular, uh, and then, well, that that's it other server programs that I will be running on the server is photo sync, uh, sync my photos on my phone automatically to my computer no matter where I am so it works similarly to Google Photos. I think I will be accessing the photos with inside of Plex as it will have the timeline feature and I'm looking at buying the Plex Pass in order to utilize more features and functionality like hardware transcoding. Uh, but I currently am still looking for uh, a Google Drive replacement that I can host inside of Windows where I can just access my files anywhere. Uh, I know I can set up a network share that I can access on my computer to it, but I want to access it on my phone in a nice app to be able to upload in different photos that I take, go over documents. Uh, but yeah, that's it for now. Uh, all I need to do is wait for my disk drive to arrive, test to make sure everything works, rip a few movies to my external drive. Um, the case for the server is um, coming tomorrow and then once I've got a few movies ripped to make sure I know the workflow that I want to be going for in terms of software that I want on the machine and how I'm going to be setting it up is written in stone uh, I will be doing that but let me know what you think anything that you think I should change let me know in the comments uh, suggestions are definitely welcome as any help that I can get through this project is highly appreciated. I'll uh, see you when I uh, get all the parts for when I want to build the server.